Hey, um, I'm going to do this video a little bit differently and kind of loosely explain what I did at the beginning of the video to get my armor looking like this, which is kind of um, black with detailing here, which is a stencil detailing which you apply before you start bluing it. Um, rather than talking over the video, it's fairly self-explanatory. Um, I thought I'd just point out what I do here and then you can just see the process um, at your leisure. Um, but essentially what I do is I initially remove the grease from the uh, armor, which inevitably builds up between events. Uh, it can happen during an event, it can happen after an event. Um, steel armor gets rusty is essentially what happens. So what you need to do is you need to get some different gradients of wire wool, some WD-40 and some pink stuff or some other kind of polishing uh, medium which you apply to the rusty areas and you kind of have to use a bit of elbow grease to get rid of it. That's how I start the video. I then go into a degreasing process using engine degreaser which um, removes all that WD-40 and other oils and skin, skin, um, ugh, other oils from the metal so that the uh, blackening kit can, uh, can work. Then you go through the blackening stages, which is uh, stage one, which is to remove the oils again. Um, I recommend doing that quite thoroughly. I don't think I did it quite thoroughly enough. Uh, stage two, which is actually the blackening chemical itself. Um, ideally, you want to dip your chemicals in this, but that would require gallons of the stuff, which is quite expensive and it's not very accessible to everybody. So I apply it with a sponge in a tray. It kind of worked. Um, it's not as uniform as it would be if you dipped it. But you can still get a nice effect um, by doing that. You get a bit of a gradient over the whole thing with some areas getting more than other areas. And then you can kind of hit the whole thing with a scouring pad, a, a, a semi-rough, soft scouring pad, something like, uh, something like this. Um, and then you can just kind of even it all out of it. Uh, so by yeah, scouring the whole thing after, after you've uh, applied the second stage of the blackening giving it a little rub down with that scourer helps even out everything so you've got the nice kind of blackening effect over the whole thing i think it would be much more severe and much more like much darker much more even if you dipped it but i didn't have enough money to do that so yeah it's, it, it still gets a nice effect um also i'll go into a bit of detail about how i make the um stencil uh, which is then applied directly to the armor and then the bluing chemicals obviously can reach some parts of the metal and it can't reach other parts which give you that ability to have that kind of stencil effect um, on there. I added it to the shoulders but I did remove it from the shoulders in the end because I didn't like it, it looks too much. But in the process you can see as I do it and obviously on the back here as well uh, there's more of the stencil which I think is quite nice. Um, but yeah essentially I'm not going to talk over the video this time it's just going to be the process. Um, and I'll put little pointers on as I go. Uh, 